Okay, she's on. What's going on, Banger TV? This is my favorite time of the year. You know, we're in July, I'm wearing a button up, and it's top five so far this year, 2023, Stoner Doom Psych Edition. Let's start off with number five, Westing. And their somewhat debut record, I guess debut record with a new lineup, called Future. So some of you rock and rollers know that Westing is actually members of Slow Season. And Slow Season have been around a long time, but they decided to change their name and add a new guitarist. Do you know who this new guitarist is? Ben McLeod from All Them Witches. Holy moly, this is like a, a huge super group. This record rocks, you know? You got, you know, not really great bands like Veta Van Fleet, Greta Van whatever, you know? They're not cool. But these guys, they're doing it Zeppelin and they're bringing the heavy and they're keeping the lead in Led Zeppelin, these guys right here. Uh, this rocks, it's total 70s hard rock through and through. It's a ripping record. It's on like really cool green vinyl as well. Let me just give you a little sneak peek. Look at that. I know, it looks wild. This thing rocks front to back. Memorable songs, uh, back in the 20s, that's a rocker. Uh, nothing new, Lost Riders, uh, coming back to me. This thing is so much fun, it has some like, uh, some slow parts, it has some um, heavy parts, but it's everything that you know and love about Slow Season now as Weston. Uh, this is out on Riding Easy Records. It came out earlier this year, and it's one of my favorites. It's been hot on my turntable. You know, my platter's been happy. Uh, number five, Weston, future. All right, up next, we're going to the Smoke City, Denver, Colorado. Love Gang, Mean Streak at number four. Man, you know, go go on this band's band camp right now and look at their merch. They got a sick shirt with like flames going down the arms. It says Love Gang with a rose on the front. It looks so sick. This is hard rock. This, this is straight up hard rock. This is out on Heavy Psych Sounds, came out earlier this year. Uh, this one, it was tough. I was sort of stuck between get, giving this a number three or a number four, but my number three is pretty crazy. This here, it's like retro boogie rock, you know? It's got that whole feel, sort of like what this is, but I find this is a bit heavier. It's got, you know, a bit more twang to it, got a bit more hard rock. Uh, everything about this is very, very fun. It's a good front to back record, easy listening. Uh, it's sort of, sometimes I'm like, man, this record is a bit too, it's too quick, I wish it was longer. If this was a double LP, holy shit, this would be number one right here. Uh, check this guy out, Mean Street. Some of my favorite tunes on this are Bad News, uh, Blinded by Fear, uh, Shake This Feeling, and Headed Down to Mexico, because you know I want to party. All right, number three. We're keeping it in the Rise Above family. Any guesses? No? All right. Smoky Mirror, man, this artwork. So my favorite artwork this year. Here, zoom in on that. You see that? Check that out. Hey, dude editing this, check this out. You know, zoom in. This is my favorite artwork this year, easily. Uh, here, I'll even show you the gatefold because it's just so cool. This is out on Rise Above. It came out the same day as the Blood Ceremony record and I really wish they did separate days because I found Blood Ceremony took all the fame that day and this record sort of was in the shadows which bums me out, but oh, look at that. Oh my gosh. What a bunch of handsome rockers. And let me tell you, this is Texas rock. Somebody tell me what's going on in Texas. Is there something in the water? Are these guys just eating so many tacos? Like I have no idea, but this band is unbelievable. And you know, in that Texas rock scene, you got Woe Fat, you got The Well, you got Pet, you got White Dog. All of these guys, you know, make a Texas fest of all those bands I just mentioned. This is huge heavy psych, very huge. Uh, front to back, this is an absolute nailer. It sort of makes me want to take my shirt off, which is, you know, it's almost already unbuttoned. Uh, this record rocks, man. Like, I can't say enough amazing things about this 70s hard rock. It's like totally out of this world. The guitar solos are crazy. Uh, the drum and the bass on this is unbelievable. It bumps, man. It's got very heavy low end, and my neighbors love it. If you're watching neighbors, I'm not sorry that I'm blasting this all the time. You know, this is my uh, second favorite record so far this year. I did a review on these guys. Any guesses? Oh, you said Acid King. No way. Acid King, Beyond Vision, holy. What a surprise this record was. Uh, a lot of instrumental stuff, was, which was so amazing. Uh, the whole packaging of this record I, th I thought was absolutely fantastic. 
uh, you know, the cool hype sticker on the front. Some memorable songs on this record, obviously Beyond Vision, uh, Color Trails, 90 Seconds, uh, and one of my favorite is The Mind's Eye. Uh, you can find a full Banger review on Banger, done by me. Holy shit! Am I on acid right now? Did I take some Ricky Casso angel dust? It's amazing. I got nothing but groovy things to say about this record. Uh, it's been heavy on my turntable ever since the review, and I'm so happy uh, to mention these guys as number two. It rocked. You guys really got to sip this one up. I know end of year lists, this will be high on a lot of people's lists. Uh, and even, uh, they got some cool shows coming up. Uh, put your ear to the ground for that. You can get this on uh, Blues Funeral Records. My number one record this year. I also did a review on this record and it's in the same family as Smokey Mirror. Any guesses? Any guesses? Cut to Eugene. <laughs> It's blood ceremony, holy moly. This record, amazing. I'll mention the fiddle again, because I was reading those comments and I know you guys loved when I was talking about that fiddle. I cannot get enough of this record. Honorable mention of Fuzz and Buzz in here, I didn't even know. Uh, thank you, Blood Ceremony, thank you, Rise Above. Everything about this record, uh, the powers of darkness, you know, the Hellfire Club, uh, Ipsissimus, uh, Mossy Wood, that might be my favorite song on this record. And, you know, ending off with uh, Song of the Morrow. Uh, I, I do really love this. This will for sure be in my top five at the end of the year, maybe even still be my number one. You know, opinions can change, but for this, definitely not. This, this record is fantastic through and through, and I will listen to this every day for the rest of my life. You can catch me sipping cold ones and smoking spicy ones to this record right here. Blood Ceremony's newest one, The Old Ways Remain, and they always will. Quote me on that. All right, I know, you know, we're in July, like midway through July, and there's been so many records that come out, and I have 17 honorable mentions. Yeah, that's a lot. So I'm just gonna go rapid fire. You guys put your glasses on, put your drink down, get your notepad. Uh, you guys gotta get ready, you know? I might even undo a button for you because it's about to get spicy in here, all right? Fairy Ring, Weary Traveler. Hail the Void, Memento Mori. Church of Misery, Born Under a Mad Sign. The Golden Grass, Life is Much Stranger. Danova, holy moly, Danova. Uh, nothing but nothing. Yeah, that's that's a top, top contender right there. Uh, St. Karloff, Paleolithic War Crimes. Crazy album name. Heavy Blanket, Jay Mascus, Moon Is. We got Luger, our Montreal brothers, Revelations of the Sacred Skull. Stone Jesus, Father Light. Yawning Band, Long Walk of the Navajo. Uh, Cloud Taste Satanic, Tales of Demonic Possession. Uh, Dozer, total iconic stoner rock band. Dozer, uh, Drifting in the Endless Void. Uh, Thousand Vision Mist, what's up dudes? Uh, Depths of Oblivion, The Machine, uh, Wave Cannon, another cool band. They got a great split with Sun Grazer, look that up. And then Loose Sutures with uh, Sado Sex for Dummies. Cannabis, yo, what's up, Cannabis? You guys rip. Uh, they're a newish band, amazing band name, Cannabis. Amazing cover. Uh, that record is the Maple Spliff Sessions. Man, I'll be doing one of those after this. And Witch Throat Serpent. Trove of Oddities at the Devil's Driveway. That right there are 17 honorable mentions, which I, I wish I had all of those records. Some of those dudes don't have vinyl, but I wish that I could have held all of these up there. And I wish this was a top 17 of 2023 so far, but we're only doing five, you know the drill. These were some of my favorite records so far this year. And I hope you guys all enjoyed the video. You know what to do, comment. You know, my hair, it's still there. My shirt, yeah, I'm the mushroom man, I know. Uh, have a great day, have a great night, have a great, just have a great life.